Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Camila aka Kami Simming and welcome to this new speed build. Today we are building a houseboat in Windenburg. Um, I actually started building this in Sulani but then I didn't like it there because I wanted to go for a very like maybe northern European uh, river city uh, sort of style like a boat that you would find in a harbor or in a little canal or river inside a, a city like an older looking city and a very maybe European or northern American city um, so yeah and I felt like building it in Sulani would mean that I had to do it like in a very tropical way because I feel like Sulani is very like dictates the style you have to go for I don't know if anyone feels like I am but I'm feeling like this like when I built in Sulani I just can build tropical houses on stilts using island living stuff or I can build like a houseboat like this one but it's gonna be very tropical looking and very like Indonesian style if I can call it that way but yeah anyway I had to create a sort of bond in this on this lot which doesn't make a lot of sense because I think that a boat like this would be like in a river or at the at the harbor as I was telling you so I really don't know how it ended up here but yeah and also I had some troubles with the ladder inside because um, I don't know why but the game wouldn't let me place it where I wanted it to be. I don't really know what I did wrong because yeah I just it wasn't like a very weird place like the other angles the other position that positions that I tried worked well like the game was was fine with it with them but I don't know the one that I wanted specifically couldn't work. I don't know. If you think you know why it didn't work, please let me know because I want to know what I did wrong. Um, and here, as you can see, I'm working with the um, this like thing from Snow Escape, and I create a sort of I created a sort of paneling around the uh, the boat because uh, I was inspired by a picture that I saw either on Twitter or on Instagram about like of someone else who built something like that and I didn't want to copy them so I like I just took a look at that I was like oh my god I want to build this too and then I I went on because I didn't want to, to copy anyone so yeah when I was actually building this I went on Pinterest I looked for real life houseboats and I noticed that many of them had like a paneling halfway through the the first floor and we cannot achieve this with normal like um, wallpaper the only thing that comes to my mind is if we use like the interior wallpaper and I didn't want that because I wanted also the horizontal paneling and I noticed that many of the houseboats had like um, white vertical paneling on the bottom part of the walls and so I tried to mimic that using that thing from Snow Escape and you will see that the interior like color scheme is pretty crazy with this very bright orange that's also on the exterior but in a while I'm gonna change that because I wasn't feeling it like initially I liked it and I still like it but then I like I just didn't feel like it was the color that I wanted here because it was a bit too much I think that I left a couple of accent walls here and there I don't know, I think I did, but I'm not 100% sure, so we'll see it together. And yeah, here I'm decorating the kitchen, it's pretty spacious for a house this small, and I think the house in general is not so tiny, like, it's a decent sized houseboat, um, so yeah, I was pretty proud of what I could fit in here, and I was so confused, because I had that two by one nook and I used it to place a dresser there but then a closet but then I didn't like I got rid of it and also I got rid of that bookcase there because like the floor plan wasn't flowing I don't know how else to to say it to explain it but it wasn't flowing and I didn't like it I didn't like the placement of anything um, because everything was like there in the middle of the room without a place without a purpose and so yeah, I was pretty annoyed by that 
and as you can see I used that tiny living um, high table which like it is impossible to find in the catalog you just find it when you search like when you sort by tiny living because otherwise it's not in the table section it's not in a bar section I don't know why like it doesn't show up in there because it would make sense but yeah I don't know and I also did this kind of cool trick in my opinion with the bed because if you raise objects like by two people like sims can still sit on them or sleep on them if it's a bed and so I used that very rundown uh, season no it's a university discovery university coffee table I used that as like a base for the bed and also as a couple of nightstands I actually scooted the the coffee tables into the wall because there's a roof behind it so it wasn't a big deal and then I I poly tested it of course because I wasn't I wasn't sure it would work with things in like in the way and in fact I had to change things and replace things in a different way to make things work but in the end it's a functional bed and I think I placed that like pile of shirts too high up because I sized down the coffee table and I think it's kind of floating so yeah my bad I think I already uploaded it to the gallery so on the gallery so yeah if you want you can either delete it or place it up at a more precise level and yeah I created a sort of gallery wall there and I also like that thing that I did with the mirror um, I think it I don't know it was very fun I think that the people who live here love to travel and they bring home many little objects and knickknacks that they find or they buy or they thrift wherever they go the like when they come back from a place they visited they always bring something home and that's why it's kind of cluttered and also not very cohesive I think throughout the house we have a very like mismatched amount of stuff and so I think that's why and I think they are also into photography and maybe they are kind of a freelancers they're freelancers um, I imagined a couple living here I probably have to mention that first um, because I placed like a, a tripod on the balcony upstairs and they have that office nook there where the dresser was and I so I'm so happy that I removed that because I didn't like it it didn't make a lot of sense because the furniture wasn't flowing as I was telling you and I think that with this open more open concept it worked it worked a little bit better and now I'm gonna like go crazy with that snow escape paneling because I placed down this bar from jungle adventure which I thought was perfect because initially I wanted to use the one from cats and dogs but it was like the four tile one and so I didn't like that you could see the side of this bar and so I placed three of these things with a tool mod and it took me ages like I cut out a bunch a bunch of trial and errors and a bunch of um, mistakes that I did and yeah and I also added a couple of benches here in at the front just to fill it fill up the space because I didn't know what to put there and it was it was looking a bit empty yeah so I had to put some something here and I think we're basically done with the build like the building part of the build we're just gonna be working on the landscaping and the exterior and maybe just add a few things on the inside whenever I forget because that happens and I'm also sorry for the guy that's inside the house but he was burning to death so I wanted to spare his life and I brought him inside yeah and he's also in his PJ so if you like if we get back into the house you're probably gonna see the see him I created this little half wall here because um, I don't know the roof wasn't working as I wanted it to um, I really don't remember why I placed it here, there I like I worked on this house a very long time ago and I just finished it two days ago I think so many things that are happening on the screen are totally like I did that I really did that um, yeah this is my reaction to what I'm seeing and so yeah if I'm not very clear at explaining why something is happening is because I don't even remember why I did something so yeah I'm sorry for this poor explaining I'm offering you today 
and on the exterior we have a bigger platform there on the right um, and I filled it with activities like I placed a barbecue, um, an outdoor dining table and a couple of loungers but before I placed there like a ping pong table um, that I removed and placed it like on the grass and of course I worked on the landscaping and I tried to make this pond not look like a, a pool which is what it is in fact yeah i tried to cover the the edge of the pool as i always do here and so you are welcome for this therapeutic and very relaxing uh, footage of me placing down uh, objects in a very repetitive way an interesting thing that i did on the outside is like under those two trees on like behind the wooden platform i placed some rugs, a radio, some cushions and also a yoga mat because maybe after they've they've been somewhere, I don't know where, they like met the yoga culture, the yoga, the meditation and yoga. Um, I don't know why I'm, what I'm trying to say but basically maybe they visited a place where yoga and meditation was were a big part of the culture and so they wanted to to get into it, to understand it better, and then they kind of really liked it and so they wanted to bring it home and they created that sort of little nook there in their garden so that they can meditate and practice yoga whenever they want. Yeah, but anyway, I'm sorry because this voiceover is a mess. I'm kind of like, I redid some parts so you probably won't even realize that it's as messy at it as it is being or as it is. But yeah, I'm very tired. I'm not doing well. Um, my cat is in my bedroom and she's making a mess, of course. And my neighbors are being noisy and everything is going wrong today. But yeah, it's been a very stressful week. I had a substitute, like uh, some teaching to do in, a, in an elementary school. And I kind of hated it. Like, I really hated it because I want to teach English. Um, German is like my my personal challenge if i can say it like that like i love studying german but it's something that i do like by myself i don't like teaching it like if it's like to help someone with their homework that's fine but teaching german to a bunch of kids that couldn't care less about german and couldn't care less about me it's really frustrating and also younger kids like small little kids like six six seven ten year olds are just too young for me i'd love to teach to older people but anyway i'm <laughs> i'm rambling and this video is almost over so if you like this video please make sure to leave a like a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i will see you all in my next video and have a great day bye everybody mm -hmm.